types of organic reactions so this is a competition corner chapter so in this way we will learn there are different type of reactions in organic in organic chemistry so this is apart from the basic chapters of our chemical reaction and equation where we are mostly learning in organic reaction so which are the different type of organic reactions let us see that one reaction is called as substitution reactions substitution reactions is nothing this is the replacement of an atom or group of an substrate by any other atom or group substrate here we use we mean that reactant so this is just like a displacement reactions we study in inorganic type of reactions you see here ch3 dash br this is one compound methyl bromide and it is reacted in a solvent potassium hydroxide in aqueous state means water is also there so water in water one base can is there in base this compound is there so when what happens in this compound this br br this is a group give group this group is replaced by this oh so we are getting ch3 oh this is a methanol is called a methanol so this is a substituting or attacking group so this at this group is attacked over br br removed and we are getting methanol so this is a substitution reaction one more be example we can see that this is called as benzene in which one hydrogen is connected with carbon so in presence of this coke nitric acid if you heat it this hydrogen is replaced by nitrate so it is supplied it is substituted so is called as substitution reaction means one atom or group of the substrate is substituted by any other atom or a group so this is the actual meaning of substitution reaction but this reaction occurs in the organic reactions not in any inorganic reaction next similar reaction is addition reaction but here this reaction given by those compound which have at least one pi bond pi bond you will study in chemical bonding chapter then a pi bond actually this is the bond between two uh, those atoms which have more than uh, single bonds means double bond triple bonds like this compound co c double three so here one pi bond here we have two pi bond here we have one pi bond here we have two pi bond so in this type of uh, so compounds where pi bonds are present addition reaction will take place here we can see one example ch3 single ch double bond ch2 see this is your own reagent which will attack only the pi bond so after attacking h plus this is your plus and this is your cl minus so this will attack on the this one uh, substrate and you will get two type of products suppose cl is attacking okay actually pi bond is the electron so this electron can shift this side or this side electron can shift this side or this side if electron is shifting this side so this will become negative so negatively attacked by the positive hydrogen if electron is shifting this side so this become positive so positive attacked by the cl so we will get two type of products this product if suppose here is positive so cl will attacks cl will negative hydrogen will attack suppose suppose this is your positive so cl will attack and this is your negative so the hydrogen will attack so in this way we will get two product similarly ch3 c triple bond c ch3 plus br2 so br2 again suppose br2 will be having two type of product one is br plus and one is br minus in solvent ccl4 so what happen this ccl4 will separate these two compounds so again if one is minus here one is plus or anything so as per the minus a plus minus is there then this br plus will attack over here if this is plus then the br minus will attack over there so we'll get this two, two product again you put in this solution heated so what will happen so again this one electron on this side and this side so similarly we'll get br br two br over here so this is your addition reaction we are adding uh, re sorry, reagent on the substrate next is your elimination reactions here removal of two atoms or two groups or one atom or one group from the same molecule so this is one molecule so this is you have two cl cl there here koh uh, alcoholic potassium hydroxide if you heat it potassium combined with cl and this oh combined with one hydrogen so one hydrogen one cl will come out one hydrogen one cl will come out hydrogen means water and cl means kcl again if you heat it again the this cl and this ch come out so first will form bond this will convert into what ch2 then double bond then ch2 and suppose cl is there again this cl and this hydrogen removed and you will get ch here this is actually called as ethane gas okay next similar reactions ch3 ch ch single bond cl hydrogen is there so koh alcoholic is there so what they will do so potassium will take uh, one cl and oh will take one hydrogen oh, this hydrogen not this hydrogen this hydrogen cl from this hydrogen from this so one will go from this side one will go for this side so we'll get product ch3 ch double bond ch2 plus hcl so this is the another molecule so this is a elimination reaction hcl is eliminated next reaction is 
called as rearrangement reaction. In this reaction, the carbon skeleton of a molecule is rearranged to give a structural isomer of the original molecule. A structural isomer of the original molecule they are giving. So let's see. This is your ammonium cyanide. So if you heat it, you will get NS2, Cu, NS2. The structure of this is different, but the molecule is same. So this is called isomers. Isomers structure is different, but molecular form is same. This is ammonium cyanide. This is called urea. Next is polymerization reaction in which a process of reacting monomer molecules together in a chemical reaction to form a polymer chains or three dimensional networks. So this is an example of vinyl chloride. This is called vinyl compound. Chlorine is there. If you heat it, so this bond will break down into this side and this to this side. So we will get here. This bond is open. This bond is open. So if you take n number of molecules here, n number of molecules here, so we will get n number of same compounds. So this is connected by the covalent bond. This is covalent bond. So each uh, vinyl chloride connected with covalent bond. So this is called as PVC that we have already studied. Next is your aromatization reaction. So it is the conversion of aliphatic or alicyclic compounds to aromatic hydrocarbon. Right now you don't know what is the meaning of aliphatic or alicyclic compounds to uh, an aromatic carbon. So this you will study in uh, carbon and compound chapter. Aliphatic means state chain compound. Okay, alicyclic means state chain compound, saturated compound in the cyclic form. So here. Uh, this is a LE fatty compound. So if you take this one, Cr2O3, L2O3 is catalyst, this temperature and high pressure, so this will convert into one structure called as benzene. Aromatic compound is a six member range normally, so just for your convenience, for understanding, so this six member compound is your benzene. Benzene is an aromatic compound. So in this way, we can form aromatization, uh, so aromatic compounds. Condensation reactions, dehydration synthesis. So it is a chemical reaction in which two molecules or moieties, functional moieties is functional group combined to form a larger molecules together with the loss of small molecules. So loss of small molecules. So this is the one molecule NH2, uh, CH2, CO. This is the one form of carboxylic acid. And again, second carboxylic acid, same molecule, same carboxylic acid. So if you heat it, what will happen? On heating, hydrogen from this and OH from this, this will combine to form, it will combine to release one water molecules and you will get this product. NH2, CH, CO. Uh, C C H N S C O H. So this product, this product is actually C O N H. You can see here C O and N H. So this is N H. This is C O. So this is actually called peptide bonds. And peptide bond, you know very well. This is found in protein. All proteins is connected by the peptide bond. Thank you very much.